Another issue of Abby's Ninja Studio Reviews. Today we are going to be viewing... Uh, yeah, I'm uh, sorry, I have like some kind of word speech problem, I guess. Um, today we're going to be viewing King's Little Big Escape, and we'll start with these things. Um, these things actually come off... Oops. Ugh, okay. So clumsy. There we go. Okay, there's that. There's the bottom part, and then this thing. They have flick missiles, so you can like flick them and it shoots out. Um, yeah, actually, I kind of hit my brother in the eye last time I did it, so I'm not allowed to flick them in the house anymore. But, um, oops. Okay, um, oh my goodness. So there's the top, and that just goes back on the little peg thing. So it's back on there like that, and it also comes with this. I like these little interactive sets, like the Karate Bike Escape thing. You just hold that down there, and it flips up. Sometimes it takes the whole thing with it, though, but it's really cool. I'll put Michelangelo in a second. It has his nunchucks on the side. I just keep them there because it's like how it's supposed to be, I guess. And then it comes with this. It did have a yellow handle, but I kind of lost it, so I replaced it with one of my extra parts. And we have the computer thing right there. There's a top view. In the Lego magazine, they did have a comic with it, but there was a pizza on top. There wasn't this thing, I guess. It was kind of weird. But then we'll move to, on to the minifigures. First, we have Michelangelo. His nunchucks are right there, so I didn't really know. But, um, he's really cool. He has, like, a bruise thing on his chest right there. Yeah, sorry about the camera again, but, um, I like how smiley he is. I like how the bandanas aren't really stuck to the head. They're actually hanging off. The shell is just like rafts. He has the same minifigure legs as all the turtles, basically, except for the bruise Leonardo and the cry by Heatscape. And it just looks really cool. Then next is Crane. Crane is like a really cool, it has like a minifigure head. And you just put it up there in that plastic piece. And he has six, six tentacles, not legs I guess you would call them. He's really cool. He just goes up here like that. And then you can close it. He's like that. And then the last minifigure is the foot soldier. Da, 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 da. I like the back printing. It has like a place for a sword, but there isn't really a sword in there. I like how it actually has the foot emblem on in the middle of the red bandana. And I like how it has like the wasp eyes, and it has that little symbol right there. I have yet to... I think that's just a to hold the ropes together and it comes with this chain weapon. I wish there were kind of like actual chains like the nunchucks chains but that's fine as that is. And next we'll move on to this. I know we already reviewed it. I'm just going to put my hands low in there to show you what it looks like. Okay. You just hold this down and you Okay. Um. Yeah. Um, so you just hold that down, you pick it up, and woo, my fans are ready to fly. So, anyway, thank you for this. is the third video of mine, and I'm hoping that I will have the support of all you. This is new to me. I didn't really think about having a YouTube channel before Chad Allen and Radio Audrey. I watched them a few times, and um, they inspired me. So, soon I'll be doing blind bag um Saturdays I think it is and I'll do like a Wednesday toy thing I guess but um Lego reviews I'll probably do whenever I come up with them so I'll be out